Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and this video is going to save you hours of your life. Now the add-on that I want to talk about today is called Mass STL Exporter. Do not turn off if you don't create STLs. It's not just for STLs now, it's one of the reasons that I've decided to cover it at this point, and it's also had a number of updates that also make this really usable. In fact, this was actually sent to me for free to try out and make comments on things I'd change, and actually the changes are so good that I'm the first person that bought it. So this is the one sale, is me. And I really do think this is amazing, it's well worth the money because it's going to save me hours of my life. So let's talk about how this is usable, why it's not just for SELs, and exactly what we can do with it. So this is a tool for generating variants on an object. So for example, I've got a gun here, and I'm gonna be using this as an STL, but it could be for something like animation or rendering or whatever. But importantly, all I've done is set this up as I normally would. We've got a gun here, and I've got a range of three barrels, and I've got those in place, and I've got a nice little collection called barrels, so I can turn those off and on as I choose. I've got another collection for four different types of ammunition. I've got an over the top clip, an under clip, and then two that are belt fed, and I've got those in place as well. And I've got a collection of, well, four hands, but basically they're two pairs, and each one of those pairs matches together, and I need to keep those matched together, and I can do that with this add-on. And I've kept this together like this because, well, it's quicker to model, and also it means that my file size isn't as big because I don't have, well, loads of variations just of this with all the bits added on so it's making my file smaller at this point not by much but if this was let's say a character i'd sculpted or something in more detail this could make a difference on file size and i'm always running out of file space so that's quite helpful now at this point i would start making all of these variations i'd turn on the ones that i want copy them and then start exporting them and the whole thing would be a massive annoyance that's going to take me far too long and this add-on is going to solve that so if I just press N, we've got Mass Exporter here, and we've got some options. We've got a link to a tutorial, we've got a reset button to start from the beginning, and we've got these options here, and we're gonna go through them. Firstly, I'm gonna ignore the output bit, because I'm gonna totally ignore STLs for now, and just talk about making variations in Blender, and then I'll do the STLs at the end. And we've got any mandatory objects. So basically the central part of every variation that needs to be in each one of them. I've got that up here, I've called it gun main. I'm just gonna copy that and paste that in so we've got the name exactly right. Then we can say if we want to apply the modifiers of everything, I do, though I haven't got any modifiers actually left, but I'll keep that ticked. And if we want to join the objects together when we're combining them, and I'll keep that ticked as well, but you could always turn it off. Now this is the point where it used to get a bit tedious. You had to put in all of your categories manually, copying all the names across, and while it still saved time, it wasn't as good as what it does now. And that is, we've got this auto-generate feature, and this is absolutely beautiful. What this is gonna do is work off of the structure that Blender already works in, which is all of these collections. So you need to have each set of options in its own collection. So I've got barrel there, and all my three barrels, and then the ammo ones there. Now what I need is one larger folder, so I'm just gonna come up here, new collection, that we're gonna put these all in. And I can call this, well, whatever you want it to be called, really. I'm gonna call it options. And then we're just gonna drag our hands in, our barrels in there, and our ammo in there as well. So we've got each of those collections within our overarching collections, which is gonna be our root collection option. So we can do that now. I'm just gonna copy that. So Control and C, Control and V there. But we've got one more thing to deal with, and this is specific to me. I've got, well, hands A18 and B18 are the pair that need to go together. This works for what I'm gonna be 3D printing these to go onto, so I need to have those together, and I need to have hand A and B24 together. So all I'm gonna do is make two collections within my hands option. I'm gonna call this hands 18. So that's gonna be my 18 options. Let's select that and that, and just drag them in. And then we're gonna do one more, and we're gonna call this hand 24. And then we're gonna drag those in. And I've just got 24, because that's the name of the parts they're replacing. Anyway, you don't really need to worry about that. But now we've got our hands, that's got our two sets in, so we've got multiple objects in there, two of them. And then we've got our barrels, where we've got three different barrel options and four different ammo options. Click auto-generate, and it's done everything for us. Here we go, we've got our hands, 
we call this hand 18, and it's got my two bits, hand 24, and it's got my two bits. We've got barrels, and you'll notice each one's got a name, and then the input. We could call this something else if we wanted to. So you can have different names to the inputs, and you can shorten them if you want to have shorter names or whatever. And we've got our ammo. Now, what's nice about this is I can still change things in. If I think, oh no, I better add something in, we can add in a new variant for each category. And actually, for category three for the ammo, I'm actually gonna have one with no ammo. So no ammo. And I'm just gonna leave the input blank there because we don't need an object to be, well, nothing. And that's a setup. Now all I'm gonna do is click generate in file. We're not gonna make an STL for this, so generate in file, and it's gonna start working through all of our different options. And here we go, here's all of our different options. They are put next to each other, so we've got all of our different options here, so we've got the different barrels, then you've got the one with no ammo, so that still works, and then you've got the one with the next barrel, and so on. So this is all of our different options set up and ready to go. Now, I don't quite know why it positions some of these where it does. Uh, that's a little bit of an oddity to this, so I can't really explain why they go where they are, but this is going to generate all of these. Well, there is two hand options, three barrel options, so that was six, and then another four options there, so that is 24, but then we've got the final option of no ammo, so that's a total of 30 options. And you can see, on our mass output file here, we've got all of those 30 options just here. So great, we've got all of those ready to go and they're all joined. So I can just move these around and use them as I want. So that has saved me by itself. I mean, I don't know how long, but it saved me a massive amount of time. Now, the other thing I can do is if I want to export this as an STL, is I can just tell this where to export it to. Now, you don't have to have done this generating file first. You could literally have a file. In fact, I'm gonna undo this, go all the way back to the point where we've just got this file here. Okay, so we're keeping our file nice and clean, not a lot of mess, okay? And we've still got our no ammo option. And then I'm just gonna put in where I want this to output. So I've got a file. The gun type is called a heavy stubber, so I've just put that here. And in my file link, I'm just gonna to come to the top, right click and copy address as text, come back to Blender and just paste that in. And then once again, come down to the bottom, export to STL and quickly come to here. And you can see this populating. In fact, I didn't get here quick enough, but you've got all of these options here and it will do it in the order you've got everything set. So you'll notice in my Blender file, I have my hands first, then barrel, then ammo. And you'll notice on the file, the file names are all hand first, then barrel, then ammo. So you can control the way that these are named. For example, the hand option for me is the most important. So I've got that set up first. So there we go, 30 variations made in seconds. It is very little work and it saves a massive amount of time and some space on your computer. If this add-on and the time saved isn't worth $9 for me, well, I don't know what is. This is absolutely glorious. There's a link to that add-on in the description or just search for it on Gumroad. It's Mass STL Exporter. Make sure you've got the STL bit as there are other mass exporters that work in other ways. And I hope you have as much fun with that as I am. Have a great day, guys.